Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 178. You ready? 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 35 plus 30 plus 2 plus 3 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 20 plus 2 plus 3 is 178 because math. Hi, everybody. Hello, friends. Welcome back. It's Sunday night again. It is. Uh, to any of you who may have just discovered it, us, and that was extremely rude. I thought it was funny. <laughs> if you don't um, like my slurping, yeah. That's all. Um, just kidding. You may wonder why we do that whole counting thing and cuz math thing. Um, we, we, we started doing it a long, long time we ago. We did not start doing it. I started doing it. This is true. This, this is, is true. my thing. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. math thing is That's my true. thing. That's true. And um, it just kind of stuck. And so it's just it's just a routine thing. With us. It's hilariously ironic because I hate math. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was a terrible math student. Oh, I mean, I was God. a really good math student, but I hate it. Oh, my God. I might have been okay with geometry, but that mm. algebra stuff? Mm -mm. Why don't you start no. mixing the letters with the numbers? It gets very confusing. <laughs> no. I don't enjoy letters and numbers. So, anyway, uh, we've gotten a, kind of a new crop of uh, subscribers, so I just we wanted sure to mention that and and say um, it's just what we do. It is. You know, so. And when she doesn't do it, it is missed. Go for it. But I you. don't forget ever i think i forgot one go figure uh okay. as you can see we have a new wall and Tis the season and so we are officially in the christmas season yes uh uh for uh uh some people it is also advent mm -hmm. so uh we hope that you are um enjoying, enjoying the, the season. season enjoying yes. the season um we are also um, more or less finishing up our doorstep drop-offs in our Whistle Stop Crew uh, mm -hmm. Secret Santa Exchange. Yeah, of we were, course, we were supposed to have our Secret Santa dinner last night. Last night, but, but of we course, canceled it. we canceled it um, and uh, opted to do um, doorstep drop-offs. Doorstep drop-offs for our Secret Santa. Mm -hmm. exchanges and as mm -hmm. soon as i think we have one more to wait on yeah. um as soon as everybody's received theirs mm -hmm. then we'll do a zoom call and there are nine of us so that's yeah, not, not a big deal we've done zoom before because so we can't open them until it's then. been exciting to make deliveries and yes. receive deliveries and all that kind of stuff because it's on thursday right was it Thursday that you and I went around and did it? Right. Yeah. yeah. One one end of Cincinnati to the other. So yes, we had a, we had a blast. We did. We had a very good time. So we're uh, looking forward to that. And mm -hmm. as soon after, as soon as soon after we do the Zoom call, yeah, we will do a. Um, we'll show you guys pictures. Of we'll the do stuff a that reveal of the things that we, we sent or we Stitched. made for our. Um, recipients. Yes. And we'll be able to obviously show what we got. I'm so excited. And it won't be the same. It won't be the no. same as sitting around the table at the Golden Lamb in mm -hmm. Lebanon, Ohio, one of our favorite places to eat. Um, and actually walking around the table and like we do musical chairs and you know, where is the person going to stop behind yeah. your chair? It's so, so fun. It is, yeah. But um, we're making, trying to make the best of it, as yep. that's the name of the game in this um, crazy time. It sure is. Um, sure is. So, other than that, uh, things are pretty uneventful around here. We are yeah. starting to Christmatize. Yes, yeah, as you can uh, see. We're, we're going to go and get our tree. We usually get a live tree. Mm -hmm. Um, one on Thursday, middle of the week, and uh, get that up. And we have Hi, some baby. new ornaments for our Christmas tree that we need to pick up at the shop. Pick up at the shop. Both Barbara and Jan have again hit it out of the park. Mm, and I can't wait to show you guys. So They're Steph so will probably bring those home from mm -hmm. work on Tuesday. Yes. And they're so cute. Perhaps if all goes well, by next Sunday we'll be in front of our tree. Won't that be fun? <sighs> so, um, and stay tuned later because as we switch out our wall, 
Oh, we, that's right. I totally forgot that we did that. In front always. Of the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always fun, isn't it? And yeah, um, I just forgot completely about it. And because we've switched out our wall behind us, we always do a slideshow uh, toward a wall of what we took down so yeah. that you can identify some of the pieces. So we'll do that and at the end of the video. That's going to be later on in the video. Mm -hmm. And other than that, not much news. Nope. Uh, shipments have been made uh, of Kaboom. family uh -oh. family Christmas presents are, are um, my son, her brother, and his wife out in New Mexico mm -hmm. have received theirs. We've received yeah. Uh, boxes from them mm -hmm. so things are moving forward we're also going to be um, getting into cards mm -hmm. uh, probably um, this coming week yeah a good chunk of them went out mm -hmm. already this year so already this last week, week. yeah um, and then we'll keep doing them next week right and we're receiving some as you'll see in mail call yes so okay uh, let's talk about hashtag ado, let's talk about stitch harmony okay uh, Stitch Harmony is our weekly hashtag that we discuss, and it is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So, right. um, basically, you leave a comment on our video. We started doing this, um, like, 30, 40 videos ago. Yeah, and a so, long time ago. So, basically, if you are someone who lives in an area where you don't have a close stitchy friend to you geographically, um, we want to help use our audience to find you a stitchy friend. Right. That lives in your town. Right. So, uh, every week we pick someone who has commented on our videos using the hashtag Stitch Harmony, and we highlight them. And this week's is... This week it comes from... Uh, Beth Freeman. Hi, Beth. Hello, Beth. And this is what she wrote. Uh, hashtag Stitch Harmony right at the front of the message of uh, the comment, which is great. Yes. And she said, helpful. hello, my name is Beth Freeman and I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am Oklahoma. Right. I am 25 years old and I have frequently been told that I have the interests and hobbies of someone much older than <laughs> I, something I am very proud of. As you should be. So she's an old soul. Right. Um, I love to cross-stitch, bake, sew, craft with my cricket, and cook yummy food. Mm. I am mama to a retired racing greyhound That's named so cool. Arthur. And I am also a first-year student, what a year to begin, here mm. in the public school system in Tulsa. Bless you. Teach third grade. Oh, I am third, also right. getting married in March of 2021. Yeah, a lot going on. You sure you can handle a new friend? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> to the love of my life. Because I am constantly exposed during this time of COVID, I am more than happy to have a stitching meetup over Zoom. Okay. As an educator, I have lots of Zoom experience. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I'm also open to meeting locally as well, hoping to connect with more stitchy friends of all ages. Yay. So there's Beth for you, people. Yes. So, if you live in, around, nearby, within driving distance of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you have room in your stitching group for uh, Miss Beth Freeman, then please comment on this video and say, Hello, Beth. My name is, insert name here, right. and I live in, around, nearby, within driving distance of Tulsa, and I would love to connect with you. And then it is up to you, Miss Beth, to go through the comments and see if anyone has commented about living in Tulsa and then you can connect with them that way and then you guys can be off to the races correct as they say correct um we don't want to get in the habit of providing with or without someone's permission their contact information oh, yeah. including their emails so this kind of uh puts it out there for mm -hmm. you folks and yeah. then um you can take it from here so as we often say it works if you work it there's muff Here's and uh, so, yes, and so make sure you use the hashtag. What's Absolutely. the hashtag? Did, did oh, she said it. She wants down. She wants down. That's muffin for All right, so that brings us to. Oh. It stays in its case all week. It hibernates. Yes. Pam's pin comment. Pam's pin so comment exciting. is the comment that I pick out of all the comments and pin to the top 
of last week's video. Why, Pam? Because it tickles your fancy. That's it, why. It has a special meaning. Let's put it that way. It has a special meaning. Okay, I'm excited. And this time, I know we've shouted out the first responders and the healthcare workers mm -hmm. uh, during um, the pandemic. Yes. But um, this, uh, by way of, is a shout out to all the educators out there. Yes. Uh, whether you are in a public school, a private school, or a homeschooling, mm -hmm. all the educators out there. Um, we have said so many times, I'm so grateful that we don't have kids, like I, little kids in it, school. It's, it's, it's just one of those things that... For some people, it's just an added it, layer. Oh. It's just an added layer. So, I don't know how you do it. Pam Spoon comment, which has been, as I said, pinned to the top of all the comments <laughs> yes. from last week's video, comes yes. to us from Chandra Parker. Hi, Hello, Chandra. Chandra. And she wrote, as a teacher, I am bridging the COVID-19 gap in learning one brick at a time here in Baton Rouge. I laughed out loud when Steph said, Use it in a sentence. Use it in a sentence. I say that to my students all the time. Love your videos. You always make me smile and you do just wonderful work. Have a good evening. So, you too, Chandra, Sandra. that was wonderful. And like we've said, um, our thoughts go out to all yeah. the people who are trying to take care of children through all this. Blessings upon you. Blessings upon you. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. All right. Okay. You're going to go first, I think. That's what the notes say, Pam. Isn't that what the notes yes, say? Yes, they do. That's right, because Pam can read because she had good educators. Yes. She's trying True. to tie it all together. True. Um, okay, so um, this week, I so I decided that I was going to, for the month of December, I was going to stitch on four Christmas projects. Some new, some old, some I might hope to finish, and um, some that I just started in October. So this one um, is, I started working on it last Sunday, and then after the video, I will put it away, and I'll pull out something else. But that is Pineberry Lanes, Mary Ann Bright. This was gifted to me by Lisa Kindred Stitcher. Thank you so much, Lisa. And uh, she gave me the chart and any leftover threads that she has had, I should say. She doesn't know them anymore because I don't know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you all so much for all of your input last week on my color situation and my stressing and all of that. Right. Um, and so I... I'll, when I show it to you, I'll show you the changes that I made. But long story short, I kept it on the same fabric. So, mm -hmm. um, which I looked at. It, Muffin has a toy banana that's filled with catnip, and she's roll, chasing it around the house right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, I, the fabric is a 40-count fiber on a whim. And I looked at my card, and it literally just says Mystery Green. Because right. I think I just bought it at Keepsakes, and the tag was nowhere to be found. So. So that's how much I have. Look how cute she is. So um, here's what I decided to do. So I basically left all of the colors as called for, except, um, see this is the light pink that I was super worried about. The white throughout was supposed to be parchment from weeks. I, I just wouldn't have been able to see it. So I was like, this is annoying. So I changed it to Snowball from Classic Colorworks. So that is what is. And then I changed the star at the top of the tree to Snowball. So you can see that. And then um, these presents at the bottom of the tree were supposed to be done in that super light, light pink. And you just can see it. So I changed them to the medium pink, which is the same as her apron here. So I did that and I'm super happy with the result. Um, I love it so much. So I'm almost done with the bottom hollyberry things. I think I have two more over on this side. And then once I get those two done, then I'll put this away. So who is this? Me. Yeah. And then there's Pam goes over here. Yeah. It's very cute. Yeah. Very cute. It is cute. Um, so I love it so much. Yep. Um, once I got over that light pink situation, right. then I was like, good yeah. to go. You're back. So I'm all set now. Right. Okay. Right. What did you work on, Pam? Okay. So um, mm -mm. I think I made a little bit more progress on my June cottage 
after last week's video, uh, Monday and Tuesday, but nothing substantial to show. So no. I didn't even unpack that out of the project no. deck. Uh, because Wednesday being Wednesday, was it Wednesday or Tuesday? Was what? The 1st of December. Oh, Tuesday. Oh, so I only would have done a, a few more stitches on Monday after the video, Sunday night and Monday after right. the video. Right. On the June Cottage. Yeah. So. I, you probably wouldn't have even able to tell the difference. Right. So Tuesday, being the 1st of December, mm -hmm. meant a new Whipco board. Yeah. And um, one of my squares said uh, Summer Haven Inn, which is a dimensions kit. Look at that. And my goal... Again, my goals were for the year, not for the month, but right. for the year. Mm -hmm. My goal was to stitch 10 days on it. Yeah. So um, this was fun uh -huh. to work on again. Um, I think um, I will be working on this until... That's where I got the Tuesdays and the Wednesdays. Oh, uh, okay. I'm working on this until Wednesday this coming week. Okay, gotcha. Going forward. Well, you still have a few more days on it then. And Very given exciting. what I've gotten done so far, um, will you go over and do the man? Yeah, I might okay. do the ice cream man. Yeah, but um, I like this it. is what I've done so far with this being um, six days, I think. Okay, six good. days out of the ten. Okay, that's my goal. Okay, so uh, working it's on working on the main in. And it photographs really well. Just doing this on a white even weave. Mm -hmm. This house, uh, aside from the uh, clabbered lines, uh, is negative space. Mm -hmm. that's so nice. that's not stitched, and um, that's, so that's nice. kind of a kind of a good thing. My yeah. goal last night was to get the ice cream wagon. That says um, Ezra's ice cream. Ezra's ice cream Cape Cod, Cod. Yep. on the side with so the ice cute. cream cone with the waffle cone. I love it. Yes. And um, this morning I got up and I put the wagons on the wheels on mm -hmm. the wagon. Put the wagon on the wheels. On the wagon on the wheels. Put the wheels on the wagon and did some of the lettering on the side of the mm -hmm. wagon here. Yeah. And worked a little bit on this wing. And then went up and did some yeah, those are so cute ocean there. and the sailboats in the back. Love it. So. Um, Love it so much. I am really loving this. I'm As really having said. fun with it. Good. It's, um, yes, it's a kit, but um, so most of you know I'm a big Charles Wysocki fan. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I'm having fun with this. As you should, so. Pam. It's so freaking cute. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, so so those were our whips of the week. Yes. I love those so. Okay. Uh let's talk about Twin Peak. Let's talk about promotions. Yeah. Okay. So um, first things go ahead. first. Thank you. I was just gonna keep talking. You right. can throw random words yep. at me, but I'm still gonna keep going. Okay. Because oh, okay. this is my spiel, it goes like this. Okay. So first is the Twin Peak Primitives pattern of the week. So how it works is um every week. We pick one of their beautifully designed charts <clears throat> that we love, that we think that you'll love too. We tell the twins, they say okay, and they make it 20% off for the following week. So, um, this week is a brand new release. It is so new that the twins uh, alerted me to it and said that the model is just getting finished. Yes. So, you are getting this Hot off the press, off the at a discounted price. Yes, and it is seasonal, and it is beautiful, yes. and it is just a stunner. It's a stunner. It is. It's a stunner. It is. So uh, we're going to insert a picture of it. Wait, it you called... didn't even tell them what the name of it is. Oh, the name of it is a patriotic Christmas Eve. I mean, I mean, exactly. a patriotic Christmas Eve. Let's go. Right. So and so now we're going to insert a picture here. here. I mean to tell you. Look at Mrs. Claus. She's, Look at Mrs. Claus. She's helping Betsy. That's right. <laughs> Sewing up those flags. Yeah. So, okay. how does this work? So, if you love a 
patriotic Christmas Eve as much as we do, uh, and you want to get your hands on this new chart, then you can get your discounted copy at a couple few places. A couple few? A few places. Let's just say a few. Uh, if you are cool with a PDF version, um, then you can get your discounted copy at either the Twin Peak Primitives Etsy shop or their website, both of which are linked below. No need to put in a discount code. It just comes discounted automatically, mm -hmm. okay? If you would rather have a hard copy of the chart, I get it. That's cool, too. Uh, however, right. there is only one, one needle workshop that you can purchase this chart to get this discount this week. Right. And that shop is Threads Entwined. Right. And uh, they are an amazing um, online needle workshop that is in Northern California. Mm -hmm. And so I will link all of the places where you can right. source this pattern of the week below. And like I said, there's no need, um, no discount code needed. You just go and you add to cart and pay for it and you're good to go. Right. Okay. And um, it is tradition that at the first video of every month, we also want to remind you all of the planned trip that we have for next fall, next September, uh, to go over to Europe for Dutch Mania 2021. Yes. Um, as you can imagine, we had to um, forego going in 2020. Yeah. And um, we uh, were a little bit uh, nostalgic this past week yeah. because it was a year ago that we were over there and yeah, uh, met so many new friends on our trip. So, um like Stephanie yeah. said, um, it's been, um, it's been, it will be in 2021. And in be. order to be entered to win, um, consider whether you would be interested in international travel. Yes. Make sure that your passport is up to date. Yes. Do all those things because in 2021, it's going to be in September. September. Um, and, and what you're... What you are potentially winning is a ticket to go with us for the all expense paid trip right, right. and all the things. So hotel, food, fun times with us. And the addition of the trip to Italy yes. on top of the Netherlands. Yes. For the international uh, cross stitch show. Yes. So, so if that sounds like something you might be interested in doing, hint, hint, it is. Yes. Um, then you need to purchase a copy of the Springfield 1817 sampler and um, there's no discount on it you just purchase the chart and if when you have to purchase the chart from any of those three places I already mentioned the right. Twin Peak Primitives Etsy or their website or right. Threads Entwined in order to have your name be put on the potential you don't have to list. stitch it right just purchase you just the chart just have to purchase it purchase it so I gotta do so if you've already purchased the chart in obviously anticipation of us going in 2020 no you do not need to buy the chart twice you're fine right okay right so don't worry we've rolled it all over um so um we will just so you can see how pretty the sampler is right um we are going to enter a picture of the springfield 1817 yep. sampler here, here. Gorgeous, right? She's so pretty. Yes, it you is know gorgeous. You, you know you want that. Yes, you, you want. You know you want to go with us. I mean, uh, we're a fun year. time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Clearly. Yes. Okay. All right. So that means it's time for mail call. call. Okay. Okay. We got stuff. Okay. A couple of um, non-Christmas cards that we got. Right. Right. From our sweet, sweet friend Marcia Riopo. Oh yeah. She lives in uh Alberta, Canada. Yes. And she sent us this very sweet card and it says live, learn, discover. Yes. It shows a very sweet note and thank you so very much. Marcia. Red Deer, Alberta. Yes. And uh Marcia was at my table at StitchCon uh in 2019. She is a sweetheart. She's yes. also a librarian. So, yes. um, of course, we hit it off. Yes. And it was lovely Duh. to hear from you, Marcia. Yes. 
And then um, we got this very, very cute uh, Merci uh, thank you card from Di. And uh, she was one of the amazing women who came with us to Europe last year. Mm -hmm. And she is also the person who is operating the Twin Peak Primitives Limited Exclusives Etsy shop. Right. Where you can get Twin Peak Primitives Kits that right. are limited edition they kits. They're selling kits and yes. extra design fabrics, yes. and they're doing a bang up job. Yes, and so she, she is doing. A she bang just up thanked job. Um, us for talking about that, which right. uh, not a problem at all. Thank Absolutely. you so much for your sweet card. We loved it. Right. Okay. Now for the Christmas card portion of the program. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So, um, first, um, we got this super cool card from Jenny at Long Dog Stitcher. <laughs> um, if I'm correct, I think that that is her Castles in the Air. Yes. Um, it, it is an absolute stunner. So this yeah. is such a cute picture. We love it so yep. much. Yep. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. This was the week of the glittery cards, but I feel like Mm -hmm. There's going to be more of those. Mm -hmm. So we got this beautiful Christmas card from Abby. Yes. I love that. Abby, she is Abby Bella Stitch on, you know. Everything. Everything. Pretty much. YouTube, Instagram, the things. Yep. All of the things. Um, from Gary and Ronnie. Mm -hmm. um, so they own operate, as I'm sure you know, Garon Toten Bags. Right. And then Gary is part of the Sunshine Stitchers, which I'm, again, sure that you all know that. Of but, course. Um, but just in case you don't, right. and we had the pleasure of seeing Gary again um, at Galleria last September. Well, Ronnie and, was there too, and that's when we met Ronnie. And we met Ronnie. Yes, yes. but the Sunshine uh, Stitchers came to Stitch, Stitch Con. They last sure year. did. Yeah. Yes. So we got a very very cute Christmas mm -hmm. card from them, mm -hmm. from Gary and Ronnie, and um, beautiful business card. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and I love very nice. it's very inclusive, which mm -hmm. I love. So yes. may the season bring you joy, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. Mm -hmm. So very pretty. Miss you both so nice much. Nice touch. Nice touch, I should say. Mm -hmm. And then we got this beautiful, very, very glittery yes. Snoopy Christmas card from Cindy at Cindy's Cross Stitch, yep. which is so cute. Right. And very glittery, yes. like I said, which I love. Yeah. All right. And then <clears throat> we mentioned, I think it might have been last week, we have kind of... Um, I mean, I would call her a super fan. I just, I would. Well, yeah. I would. It, she's, it, a, she's a fan of a lot of floss. Well, fans. she is, yes. But I feel like we have a special place in her heart. Possibly. Tell me if I'm speaking out of turn, Linda, okay? <laughs> um, and so, Linda had told me um, that she had sent us a package. And when it arrived, I didn't realize that when she said package, it was going to be a monstrosity. Yeah, it was a pretty big box. It was a very, very, very large box. Mm -hmm. um, and inside of this box <clears throat> were two advent calendars that Linda had put together using um, the idea from Liz at Hello from Liz Matthews. Right. And had chosen items, and not all of them are stitchy. Like, there's some candy. We got a package of nail files. Like, they're not all stitchy, but there's some stitchy. And so fun. Yeah, so fun. So fun. So much work. So kind. I all know, of the, the things. effort. The effort. This is so, what each of them looked like. And so this is mine. Look at this thing. Look how big it is compared to our heads. I mean, it's massive. And it's, it's a plastic box yeah. that we can use later. I know, like I'm into the storage. I'm, I'm, I'm here for these the little, cute little Santa, Santa bags, bags right? and then all of them have tags on them with the days, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, um, day three was a was a bunch of I think peppermints, so they're still in the bag. But yeah. like, yeah. we got um, monogrammed mm -hmm. ornaments, package of tissues, box of chocolate. The effort. I the mean, effort. So uh, I'm blown away. I'm blown so away. kind. Yeah. So kind and. Yeah, this is Pam's. Yep, but same same, same deal. Same deal, right? And, um, so we do. We so usually, these, this is heavy. I so mean, two of these in a box on bananas. top of one another, and then incredibly nice sweet cards. 
just like just amazing so thank you thank you thank you linda so much linda and this she, is a lot of effort she was so sweet and she was like there's no need for you to like because i'm posting on social media about the other advent calendars i have right, right. and she was like don't feel like you need to post on social media. And so it's just been nice to like, at the end of the day, before Pan goes to bed, we open up the day's, um, gift. bag. Right. Wow. The gift was the word I couldn't think of. And it's just fun. It's just really, really fun and very sweet. It's and Christmas, Stephanie. You can learn the word gift. <laughs> I don't need to learn the word. I know the word. I just can remember think of the, the word. word. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. So, thank you so much, Linda. Very, very nice. This is so fun to do. You and know. I'm also just really excited for the storage container, if I'm being quite honest. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Yeah. This yeah. this was super cute. Super, yes. super cute. So, thank you so much, Linda. Yes. Okay. And then, um, the last... I got glitter from the cards on this over here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, the last little piece of... Um, mail call i mean technically did it come in the mail no was it a gift yes so therefore um and came from another one of our favorite oh. canadians another one of our favorite canadians yeah marissa marissa twala uh, not on instagram uh -huh. yep and so she uh is a keepsakes customer mm -hmm. and she um placed an order not too long ago with keepsakes and um so we finalized the order and got it sent off and all the things and um included in her order she also um got pam and i a couple gift cards so yeah. um thank you so much yes I, marissa we have very love you. very nice thank we you very you much so marissa. much yes. Mr. Mr. yes okay so that is all well you want to talk about that or is that part of your haul well um i didn't pay for it but in case you um no because it was offered um it was on our hands, website. Hands on Design um, posted a freebie for um, the holidays. It's called Berries in Bloom, and I think I can show the whole page. Mm -hmm. Just freebie? show this. Just oh. show that. Oh, Stephanie says no. Because I gotta go get it if they yeah. want it. It's so, so is, cute. This is what it looks like. There you go, folks. It's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. So um, check out. Is it her um, website? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I can't remember where I got it. I, you know, I follow her on Instagram. That's where I Instagram. saw it. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Uh, check her Facebook, uh, wherever. Um, but her Instagram, I know she's got a link directly to it. But these kinds of designs are so handy because you never know when you're going to be in a gift exchange or mm -hmm. need to whip something up real quick. Yeah, stitch something up real quick as a gift and so cute ornaments, of course. Mm -hmm. So um, yes. I'll just mention that hands-on design, Kathy, yes. of yes. course. Okay, all so right. So that was technically all of the mail yeah. call. Mail call, pretty okay. much. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're at the haul part of the program. We are. Why don't you go first? Okay. Um, I want to make sure everybody is alert to this. I learned about it on um, Instagram, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, Primitive Hair, who's one of our favorite designers over in Italy, yep. um, she has just started uh, what appears to be a um, series called... Oops. It's not called Oops. Um, it's going to be a series of famous Americans, I think. Women. Famous women or famous American women. It's not on the printout. Darn it. Why would it not be on the printout? I know. Hold on, I can find it. Maybe you can search for it. Okay, why don't you show it's it? It's the first in the series from um, Primitive Hair, and it is uh, Harriet Tubman. Don't worry, I'm going to find it. And Steph's going to look up and see what the series is. But we got the PDF. And truthfully, I think she did a remarkable job on this depiction. Yeah, it's so um, good. Of uh, Harriet. That is the first pattern in her series called Women Who Made History. Okay, Women Who Made History. Okay, Women Who Made History. Which I'm and here for that. I'm all about the series. I'm all about history, as you know. Yes. But, um... So good. I, I think I read, in the book I read about Harriet Tubman, that she had, um, she had gotten, her, I think, and I don't mean to be crude here, but I think at one point 
she had been hit to the point of knocking a few teeth out, okay, oh. uh, before she escaped slavery. And so the way she held her mouth was a reflection of that. Okay. And so I think that whatever picture, um, is it Isabel? Yeah. From, um, yeah. Yep. From Isabella uh, used to chart this for cross stitch. I think it kind of shows that uh, jawline a little bit. So it's a beautiful portrait of Harriet Tubman. Yeah. And I was all about it. Oh, I, yeah. I was like, I'm jumping on that, man. Yeah, for sure. And you can do it with the whole you know, wording, or you could mm -hmm. do it like this, just a singular portrait, which I think is both. wonderful. Or, or do both. Yeah. And then also in that <laughs> same transaction yes. from the Primitive Hair, um, this is also brand new from her, and this is called Arctic Circle Ornaments. Right. And it says, Santa, stop here, please. It's got the coordinates for the Arctic Circle, and then it says... Reindeer parking only. Cute. And I like it all as one. I don't necessarily need it yeah. in three pills. I like right. it all as one. But mm -hmm. so cute. Mm -hmm. Arctic circle ornaments. Yeah. Very so that's cute. for the primitive hair. Mm -hmm. And um, the only other thing that um, I picked up, uh, two patterns that I added to my whistle stop starts mm -hmm. in October were from Sam Sarah um, and... They did, I think, four. Okay. I think four. Mm -hmm. um, I started Spook Line. Yep. And I started... Hairline. Hairline. H-A-R-E. Mm -hmm. And um, the lovely and talented... Karen Torres. Uh, Karen Torres from So Much to Love mm -hmm. was destashing some things yeah. that she thought, I'm never going to stitch. And uh, so she was letting go of B-Line. And I thought, okay, I'm going to grab that. Yep, this Just is my opportunity. Kind of a, what is that, a completist or someone who, you know, wants to have everything in a series, series or a, a theme? collector. Collector, that's a good word. Yeah, let's go So, that. and of course, she always puts in her great tea. Yes. And um, so I picked that up from Karen, just a de-stash kind of thing. Well, that's lovely. Yeah. Okay. It are was you, lovely. Are you ready to see my haul? Yeah. Okay, um, so, um, there we go. Okay, get my phone ready. Okay, um, so I don't know if you follow uh, Jennifer at the Whistle Stop Stitcher. Um, she added some really fun items. I think I have a piece of glitter right here. Everywhere. Uh, yeah, uh, she added some really fun items to her Etsy shop, and I love floss rings that's how i have all my floss for all my projects um they're all on floss rings and um as you all know my name is steph starts with an s <laughs> and i feel like anytime there's something that's monogrammed with letters on it i can see that glitter um <laughs> i never ever get it because there's so many people with s like s is so common yeah. so when i saw this i had to immediately like buy it now yeah. So it is a flossing with a little heart that has an S on it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. And these are really like really lovely, really high quality. Like, yeah, yeah. So I will link um, Jennifer's Etsy shop below. Right. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. Okay. And <laughs> okay. So, um, a while ago, you saw me purchase, well, you didn't see me purchase it, but you see me show it because I purchased it, um, a amazing Barbara Anna kit from this super amazing shop called Nitka Moscow, um, and they have some sort of a collaboration deal going on with Barbara Anna, and, um, so I got the Tree of Magic was the first one I purchased. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, I saw that they were doing a Christmas one. So I immediately sent them a message on Instagram and I was like, where do I sign? Take my money. <laughs> I really wanted it. And it is, um, it's just the cutest and it came yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so, um, without, I'm sure that there's a full picture of the whole thing inside. It comes in. 
a tube. This tube um, that looks like a log because mm -hmm. they're various trees. Get it? So, um, but there's a little, I don't want to dismantle the whole kit mm -hmm. to show that to you. Yeah, yeah. But there is a little card on the outside and this is the Christmas tree. That gives them a pretty good idea. I mean, the cats playing up mm -hmm. here, the snowmen. I like the Santa on the bottom with yeah. the reindeer. And the little poinsettias up here. Mm -hmm. And the fire. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. And you get everything in here. Like, yeah. everything. Um, and I have to show you. Oh yeah, show that. For sure. That all the threads are DMC and they come braided. On this, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't want to take this apart. Mm -hmm. It's so mm -hmm. pretty. Mm -hmm. um, so I cannot recommend enough. Um, yeah, very I responsive from from Russia. I mean, holy cow! I mean, yeah. Um, so I don't know, like, how it is with, like, if I don't know if there only a certain number of these kits were made and yeah. where they stand with that. But I will happily um, link the information down below if you are interested in Barbara Anna's exclusive Christmas tree. Is it Christmas tree or tree of Christmas? Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Okay. Yes. There you go. Christmas tree. And at the very least, you can shoot them a message on social media and say, hey, do you have any of these left? And they're right. super, super, super responsive. Right. So, right. Um, okay. Then, um, this is so funny. So, uh, I'm sure if you're on Instagram, then you are following um, Beth Twist. She's the designer behind Heartstring Samplery. And um, she posted a charts slash kits and this new series that she was starting. So she started this new series called the small samplings collection. And the general gist of it is that they're small reproduction samplers that she is going to be kitting up and selling on her Etsy shop as full kits. There's only a certain number of them, and then as soon as they are sold out, then they're sold out. And then I think, like, next year sometime, I think she said she was going to release the charts as charts only. But the kits are limited and exclusive to her Etsy. Okay. So, I <clears throat> immediately went over to her Etsy shop and purchased the first one because I thought it was very sweet and just very Beth twist and I love it. Um, and so this is the small samplings collection, Esther Cannon. Let me see. C A N N O N. So that's Canum. No. C A N N O N. That is the same as the other ends. I'll Hold wait, please. She's right. Cannon. Thank you. Um, okay. And then it comes, so I'll show you the chart. So Esther Cannon. Mm -hmm. And my favorite phrase, tone on tone. So you can see the letters in there. See? 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 Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it's so, so, so sweet. And some Aren't some of the letters backwards? Like yes. Like E's are backwards? So. Um, if you can find one. It might be down below when we were studying it. Um, I thought we saw one that was We backwards. did. We see. Oh, I see it. Uh, well, the A in canon, when she signed yeah, it. Yeah, and then the three up here. And then the three is backwards, that's right. Yeah. So, if you look at, where's it? See this right here? That three is backwards, and then the A in canon is backwards. So, it, it she. She's a schoolgirl. She's learning the yeah, letters. Yeah, and. Yeah. Beth stuck to the reproduction, yeah, which is and then fantastic. you get it fully kitted, which is absolutely beautiful. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that this is 32 counts um, ale from Picture This Plus, Ooh. and then all of the there's two called for colors, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And she even included like a little fob. Oh yeah. So I haven't taken it apart yet, obviously, but right. it's so 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 cute. I love it. Um, beautiful. I am unaware if there are any copies left, but I will link her at the shop below. Right. 
in the off chance. How's that sound? Right. And um, I have to say, Beth, just in case you're watching. Right. <laughs> She says on my invoice, she said, thank you, Steph. And then in parentheses, she said, am I allowed to call you Steph? Is the sky blue? Yes, absolutely. I would be honored if you called me Steph. <laughs> yes, you may absolutely call me Steph. Please do. And yes, I'm going to save the invoice because I think that's fun. Okay, then I did a little bit of shopping on Sash Unload, Sash Unloading, one of those ones. Um, and... A huge thank you to someone that I cannot remember at the moment, um, but they messaged me and they're like, hey, someone is getting rid of some 40 count lakeside linen. And so I was like, Zoom, and I went right over right. and I got myself a fat half mm. of 40 count vintage pearled barley. Beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. This is one of my favorite colors yeah. from them. So, yeah. love that so much. Mm -hmm. So, thank you to whoever pointed me in that direction. I appreciate right. you. Right. Okay. And then, one of my personal shoppers. Though. Yes, right. All right. So, let's talk keepsakes haul. Yep. Okay. So, this um, has been back ordered for, oh gosh. Six months? No. Not oh. that long. Oh. Maybe six weeks. Oh. Maybe. That's not maybe, bad. Two, maybe two months. Um, and this is, but they finally came in. Yeah. So, uh, this is Madame Chantilly's Celebrate Autumn. Mm -hmm. We now have all of them in the series. Mm -hmm. So freaking cute. Mm -hmm. I love the squirrel. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite part, I think. Super, super cute. Just called Autumn? It's called Celebrate Autumn. Oh, Celebrate Autumn. Yep. Okay. Part of her three-tiered tray collection. Oh, yeah. And then new from Erica Michaels. This one had been back ordered for two or three weeks, I think. And, um... I love it. And I think I mentioned last week that I love anything that says home for the holidays kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And this is her holiday home berries. Beautiful. Aren't they so sweet? Mm -hmm. And I, I just love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I got to get this pin set because dang, those are cute. Mm -hmm. Look how cute that is. Yeah. Oh, adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, this is new from Waxing Moon Designs. You know, I'm fresh out of monthly series. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm not, not um, really. but uh, this is new from them. And this, I love these three. Yes, and this is monthly trios: January, February, March. I love that groundhog. Yeah, he's he's like yeah. Happy Valentine's. Yeah. <laughs> Be my Valentine. Winter is over. Yeah, right. I just think it's super cute. So I will obviously be getting the rest of the month of these. But Waxy Moon Designs yeah. monthly trios. Yeah, so cute. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And this is new from the blue flower. Yep. Um, and if it, there's a fox on it, then I probably need to stitch it. Mm -hmm. Is basically my rule of thumb. I'm gonna need a fox wall eventually. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, right by the window that faces where the foxes lived. Right. Okay. Right. Um, and so this is called Holiday Card 2020. And look at that fox. I think it's interesting that the fox is the only one that's not wearing any clothes. <laughs> so Does I don't, he have shoes on or a hat or No, nothing? it's completely buck naked. Okay. Completely naked <laughs> naked tree decorating, I guess. So <laughs> so cute. Count though. me out. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, that would be painful, wouldn't it? I mean, but it's a fox, so who knows? Yeah. So I love it. I just think it's so cute. It's so cute. It goes with the Halloween one. Yeah. 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 And this is new from Lindy Stitches. Another fabulous Stephanie, if I do say so myself. Um, and this is called Mistletoe Loitering Society. Love it. I like the penguin in the top hat and the big fat raccoon. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. Really cute. Mm -hmm. Good so job, fun. girl. So fun. Yes. Okay. And then uh, new from Hands on Design. Um, this is, um, a part of her, a banner year mm -hmm. collection, right? Mm -hmm. So she did the, um, the Halloween one. And then this is the winter one mm -hmm. and it is called snow much fun. Mm -hmm. It is. And it's really a different, yeah. uh, color palette. It is. 
Uh, so more pretty. modern, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, not the traditional red and green. Yeah. Um, well, it's more winter than Christmas, yeah, though. Yeah, it really is wintry looking. You've got yeah. a sled, you've got skates, you've got mittens, you've got all kinds of stuff there. It's adorable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I also have the um, Lady, Dot, Lady yeah. Dot Creates Rick Rack that is used right. in the finishing of these. Right. Because it's really, if I'm being honest, there's no other way you can really finish these aside from this way, uh -huh. um, which is how I'd want to do it. And then um, also... Um, I have the thread packs. I have a thread pack for myself on order from Color and Cotton that I ordered for keepsakes. So, um, love this mm -hmm. so much. Right. Um, and then also, you know that I am doing, I started Let's Talk Autumn. Mm -hmm. um, during Whistle Stop? During Whistle Stop, yep. Mm -hmm. And so, I think I like, I don't know, I like them both. I shouldn't say that. But yeah. I like, I love this so much. So this yeah. is Let's Talk Winter. Right. I love the pine trees so yeah, much. Yeah. Now, are you going to get the fabric? I have the fabric right here. Oh, there it is. My, my, so, my. if, you, um, if you've if you been paying people. attention more than Pam, then <laughs> you know that um, I, when I started the autumn one, I started this pillow down here um, on the autumn one. Um, and so, I plan on doing all of these pillows and I probably will do the large piece. I don't know about the little hoop thing, but I know I like right, both of these. Right. Um, and so, let me bring you up to speed, Pam. So, on this pillow here, yeah. see that fabric right. that's there? So, that is a fabric bundle that is available from a really great shop called Simple Stitches Fabric Shop. Mm-hmm. Simple Stitches Fabric Shop. Mm -hmm. uh, pause and take a screenshot or a picture. Um, and so Kathy, the designer at Hands On and Simple Stitches Fabric Shop work together to create these absolutely stunning fat quarter bundles of excuse me fabric that complements the stitching. Um, and it's just... Yeah, it's a great collaboration. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And so... This, they have, um, I think when I first, I don't know what they have in stock left, but I know that when I looked, when she first, when Kathy first posted about it, there was maybe five or six different varieties of fabric bundles. Ooh. So I looked at the cover model that Kathy had posted the pillow and I was like, okay, which ones do I want, must have in the bundle? Mm -hmm. And so this is the bundle that I oh, ended up. Oh, now I, it's coming back to me now. Well, because I, I got the fabric long before I got the chart. Right, and you were showing me what your fabric selections were going to be. I remember now. Okay, great. Glad to have you with us. And I love this red one with the polka dots. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, so yeah. cute. Yeah. And then that one. Oh, my yeah. gosh, love that. And that one. Yep. And, oh, yeah, this one for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it with the silver. And then the last one is, of course... The white with the X's. And I love it. Is it X's or stars? Those would be X's. Oh, X's, actually. X's. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yum. Mm -hmm. uh, so, love that. I will link Simple Stitches Fabric Shop below. What's that piece for? So, this is just, it says, thank you for supporting our family-run shop. And it's just oh, a bonus little, piece, little of... piece of scrap fabric. Gotcha. So, you okay. can use it for whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, I think, yeah. Okay. Yep, for whatever. You can use whatever you like. So, yeah. So, cool. th that is all of the, the haul. <clears throat> so much haul. My phone turned off. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, at this <coughs> point, uh, yeah. we're going to do the... Um, the November tour to wall. The November tour to wall. So, yes. this is what we took down. When and other things around the room, yeah, uh, that we that you typically don't see, right? Uh, before we replaced it with the Christmas stitching, correct. And I do want to say that if you watched any of our videos in November and the November tour de wall does not include those photos right. or those pieces, right? So there's a couple pieces that we have kept up 
over the course of the fall. Right. It's because they're in previous tour de walls. Right. So just go check back. It's usually either the first video of the month or the last video of the month. Right. Um, we do the tour de walls. So right. we recommend that you go check that out. Mm -hmm. Um, if you feel like you, or if you're, if you want to just shoot us a yeah. comment, we email, can help you. We can help you. Yes, absolutely. So we will insert the November tour de wall. Goodbye fall here. We have a new wall. And there's some new stitches up here that you might have are saying that wasn't on their Christmas wall right, last year. Right. So um this is because we're gonna have the tree next week. Yeah. So this is the one chance you have to look at the Christmas wall. Oh possibly. Be, yeah. I mean I we'll, thought we were gonna wait until Oh, well we'll do the we'll showcase the ornaments on the Christmas show. Well which of is course December twentieth. Yeah. But yeah, that's right. So there you go. <laughs> oh, I thought you were no. Season. I was no. So I was there you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll do a December tour de wall when we do oh, the yeah, Christmas course, show. But, but yeah, we had to we had to be seasonal. We had to switch it. Of out. course, we couldn't let you have looking up fall stuff back here. Come on now, right, right. Plus this, I just die over that. I yeah. love it so much. Yes, yes. And this is mine. Mm -hmm. Both of them are. Nope, you stitched that one. I, I did. Stitched, yeah. Oh, that's right, I did. Yeah. Yes, Pam. Actually, that was that kit was a gift from Kathy Haberman. And this is new. I stitched that. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Getting some of Steph stitching up there. Yeah, it's about time, you know. Yeah, it is. Truthfully. Um. Okay. And so now it is time to do the giveaway. Oh yeah, it was a big one, wasn't it? It was. So, um, the item that we were giving away last week, um, many thanks to Annie at Crazy Annie Stitchin right. for uh, providing this. Right. Is Let Freedom Ring mm -hmm. by Lila Studio, along with the hand dyed or the over dyed threads <coughs> that the chart calls for. Right. No um, fabric. No fabric. Everybody's no got different tastes. fabric tastes and no DMC. So it's up to you to gather that. But. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you will have no problem doing that. And you had to use the word brick. Yes. Yes, you did. In your comment in order to be entered. There you go. And so, like we do every week, we use the YouTube random comment picker to mm -hmm. pick a winner. And so, we will enter the video of us picking a winner here. Hello, friends. Welcome to this week's giveaway portion of the program. Um, this week, from episode 177, we are giving away... Let Freedom Ring by Lila's Studio. Um, we are not only giving away just the chart, we are also including um, all of the called for overdyed threads that you need. Um, and this giveaway is thanks to Annie at Crazy Annie Stitchin. So, uh, Let Freedom Ring is Pam's New Year's Day start. So, um, if you get this, if you're the winner, then you can go ahead and kit it up and you can start it with Pam if you want. Um, okay, so, uh, we asked that you use, um, brick in a sentence. So, we are going to, um, do it like we normally do. So, there's the YouTube URL, all of the parameters, and the word brick. So, Let's see how many comments we got. All right, 322 unique commenters. All right, let's pick a winner. Instead of the laundry. I love that YouTube name. Brick red is my fave color to stitch with. I also love brick red. And you are lucky because there are lots of bricks in red that you get to stitch with this pattern. 
uh, instead of the laundry. I'm sorry, I don't know what your first name is. Um, but please send your mailing address along with your first name uh, to Pam's email address listed in the description box below and we will get your let freedom ring out to you congratulations and thank you all so very much for all of your entries i will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now bye there congratulations you go. congratulations to instead of the laundry instead of the laundry yes love that love that name yes and um uh, that will go right out to you as soon as we hear from you. It sure will. Yes, ma'am. And, okay, so this week um, we we were sent a very amazing package of right. giveaway items, again, from Annie at Crazy Annie's Kitchen. Right. And we thought that um, because I showed it this week as part of my haul, mm -hmm. that it would be appropriate mm -hmm. to give away two, mm -hmm. two copies right. of... So much fun. Right. And not only do you get the chart, you get Ada to stitch it on, which I believe is 16. Yep, 16 count, Ada. You get the flaky, which is the called for Rick Rack. Mm -hmm. And then you also get, can you see them? Yeah. All the color and cotton thread pack. So you're, you're good to go. So you can just literally get this and start it. So right. we have two chances to win. Two of them. Right. Um, one is Even Weave and one is Ada. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So. <clears throat> how are we going to do this? Mm -hmm. Um, well, I think, I think that snow would be too easy. Correct. For a word. Let's go with banner. Let's go with banner. But when you enter, you have to also Hold say. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, we had to confirm. Yes. So basically, so how it's going to work is that you must use the word banner mm -hmm. in a sentence in your comment below to be entered. Right, okay. Right. Um, and please mention in your comments that you would prefer either Ada, Ada or, or Evenweave. Evenweave. Yes. So. Okay, it's Evenweave. It's not linen. It's Evenweave. Yeah. Yes. And, and it is 32 count because that's it's the 32 cult. count Evenweave. See? I don't know if you can tell. That's yeah, even with. Yeah. And then. It's what count? Ada? 16. 16 count. Ada. 16 count white Ada and 32 count white linen. Mm -hmm. um, because then they can be finished as the size like this. Right. So. Um, so we'll draw two winners. Yes. And the one usual, for Ada and one for linen. Right. The usual uh, rules apply. Yeah. You have to. Uh, be 18. Be 18 so that we can ask for your mailing ad yes. address. Yes. You cannot use the word giveaway. That's to keep the creepers out. Yes. Who scroll, who troll for that kind of thing. Yes. Um, and you must be a subscriber. You must be a subscriber. Yes. And you must use the words. Yes. So if you're somebody who stitches on anything and you stitch on both Ada and even we've been linen and all the things, mm -hmm. that's fine. You can totally say that in your in your comment. Right. Totally cool. Not a right. problem. Right. Um, but if you are like, I, I only stitch on Ada, we need to know that so we don't send you something you're not going to stitch yeah, on. Yeah, we don't want you to send you Ada if you're just going to, I don't know, give it away or. Right. Or not use it. Or whatever. Right. So we want to give you what you want. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, okay, great. So that is um, the giveaway for this so week. And we will giveaway. pick two winners next week. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so in terms of the week ahead. Yeah. Uh, we, like I said, we do plan to get the tree on Thursday, I think. Yes. Because I have to get, I'm getting my hair cut. Right. She's getting on hair done Wednesday. on Wednesday. So that blows that whole day out of the water. Well, I don't see her until 345. Well, still. But anyway. You don't want to. No, pick I out don't. a Christmas tree and get your hair done on the same day. No, right? not a, no. that makes no sense. They're no. not. They're, they're not, not the same. They're not complimentary activities. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> so, um, anyways, and plus, by the time I get home, it'll be dark. Right. So right, right, no. Right. And um, because my hairstylist is having a baby, and so she is going on maternity leave in like oh, you two had to weeks. grab this appointment. Yeah, yeah, or else I would have Rapunzel hair. Before yeah. too yeah. long, right? Just kidding. For 2021. But anyway, so yeah, so, so we're that's gonna get the tree. Yes. We're gonna pick up uh, our 2020 ornaments yep. and put them on. Yes. Um, as soon as I uh, complete my 10 days on Summer Haven Inn, mm -hmm. then I will be, I think, uh, 
this is a really busy stitching month for it being December for me, but I really it would is. like to finish uh, Cornish Folkies in 2020. I believe in you, Pam. And I think I can do it in two or three days. So I'd yeah. like to go back and finish that. Okay. Um, I need to finish the June Cottage, and I need to spend a little time on Christmas Patches, which is my oh, yeah, that's old right. leisure arts um, piece uh, that has been languishing. Mm -hmm. But um, hopefully I'll get a few hours in on that. I think that probably will be possible. You think? I do. Before the 31st? I think I have a piece of glitter in my eye also, for anyone wondering why I'm Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine. It's all, it's all Get fine. A face cloth or something. Okay, I'm be right back. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll be fine. Okay. And then my plans. So um, we are doing the Whip It Good Challenge, which is our Whistle Stop Group Challenge. Um, we're doing it next year, and so we had to provide a full whip list um, before we go into 2021. Um, and I have. Mm -hmm. Technically, I will have 70, 70 whips going into 2020. I have 36, I think. Yeah. And you're double my age. That makes sense. I guess so. <laughs> if, any, if any of this makes sense, I don't know. Right. It all makes sense to me. But. So, uh, so because I'm going to have a start on New Year's Eve, and that's technically 2020. Oh, I didn't count that one. Well. 30, I didn't count that one. 37. Okay. I didn't so, put it on my list even. Well then, we'll have to tell you're today. a lying liar, pits of fire. So, um, but I went through all of my whips last night. It was so good. I actually, yeah, it was a good exercise. It to was do. very, very good. So you made, um, you made decisions about restarts and two you, UFOs. Two UFOs. Pardon me, UFOs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Speaking of that, um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram because um, this week I will be doing two. Uh, giveaways on my Instagram. Oh, you're going to do that this week? Yeah, why not? Get them to it before Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. So you might, it will be like an adopt-a-whip kind of situation. It will be exactly that. Yeah. And you can do with it what you will. Right. But you'll know that at least Stephanie put some stitches in it. Yeah, there's one with quite a few. So, so. there you go, half done. Right, pretty much. Yeah. All right. So we hope that you are uh, doing well. Yes. Um, and um, we hope that you are making the best of the situation. What is she doing? She's just sitting on a piece of paper hiding. Of course. She's a wimp. Hey! <laughs> She's my whip. Well, anyway. Oh, my whip. I meant wimp. My wimp. Anyway, um, so that's going to do it. Um, yeah. We are uh, going to go fix something to eat here mm -hmm. and uh, stitch... Uh, for the rest of the evening mm -hmm. and uh looking forward to getting our treats so yes um thanks we for hope stopping that, by and i hope that your holiday season whatever you celebrate right. if you celebrate right. is getting off to a grand start right um I'm sure that this holiday season looks different for you than it normally does. Right. Um, and it looks a little bit different for all of us, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that we are trying our very hardest to make the most of it mm -hmm. and to find the joy in the season because it is there. I mean, my birthday is in two weeks. It's on the 18th. Don't forget to mark your calendars. And, you know, just find the joy in what you're able to. Yeah. All right. So Okay. So we'll see you next Sunday night. Yes. Or whenever you catch us the next time. True. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep, keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.